everybody, welcome to Equals and Alternatives, episode 49. I'm your host, Mike Vacanti. Today we are reviewing hummus and pretzels in a single serving packet. Low energy today, I only slept about five hours last night. I don't do well on very little sleep. I got up, had a pretty bad yoga session with Gary. When Gary does yoga, I do the yoga with him because we have an instructor. Uh, big shout out to Sarah Petrosky in New York City, who's awesome, trainer and yogi. Um, but I had a bad yoga session myself, Gary killed it, and this morning's just been kind of like, eh. I broke my fast three hours early, I'm trying to lose fat right now, just for a few weeks leading up in the summer here. As many of you know, I was gaining muscle and strength for a while there, uh, but I broke my fast three hours early on, I'll show you, like I'll, I'll grab it and show you guys. I know, 500 cals, like 30 grams of fat. I'm not proud, only 22 grams of fat, 200, 420 cals. Um, but I, uh, yeah, just like, like it, it shows what being tired does to, I don't wanna say willpower, although willpower is part of it, but just fatigue in general is not good physiologically or psychologically for sticking to a fat loss plan, which is why I'd recommend my clients who are trying to lose fat get at least seven hours of good, high quality sleep if possible. Um, and like, I'm not gonna, I'll probably end up a few hundred calories over today, higher on fat, higher on carbs than I should be, but I'm not gonna blow up the entire day just because I screwed up and, and ate these. I'm still gonna keep protein pretty high, try to do the best I can. But low energy, bad sleep, feel, feel exhausted. Hummus, what's going on with hummus? I had, um, a friend asked if I would review hummus. She had a few ideas, like things that she was genuinely curious about, and I was like, sure. So I, I looked around, I'm not a big hummus eater myself, but I, I found the most popular, um, at least here in the States, type of hummus that people consume, the single serving, oh, uh, sabra, I believe that's how you say it, um, with pretzels. Now, I think that hummus Hummus, let's back up, what is it? It's ground chickpeas and oil are the two things that make up the caloric portion. Then you have spices, garlic, um, salt. You know, we can look at the ingredients, but, but those are the main things. A lot of Americans dip um, like vegetables in hummus, which isn't the traditional use, but like obviously you're saving. So to back up, 260 cals in the hummus, 120 in the pretzels um, is what's going on here. But a lot of people dip carrots or like peppers or random cucumbers, random vegetables in hummus, which is saves you some carbs versus this. Um, but I, I was hanging out with this this girl last night who's from Israel and she's in school here um, at university in the city and she was like, yeah, we eat hummus and we eat it with pita bread and everyone knows it's unhealthy. Like if you're eating a lot of hummus, it's like, oh, eating hummus, you gotta go to the gym. Like they know that it's more of a, uh, I don't wanna say a treat, but just not like a healthy option. Um, so I don't know where, like, where we got it in our heads that hummus is this super healthy thing, pretty balanced macro-wise across the board, kinda high in fat and carb, relatively low in protein. Obviously, you can eat it, it's fine. There's like not no real downside, but thinking that you're making a super healthy decision eating hummus, incorrect. This is plain. I actually, I've tried the roasted red pepper flavor, which I enjoy a lot. Um, it's, a, it's a good amount in this single serving. I mean, you know what hummus tastes like, I assume. It's okay, I don't love it. Calorically and macro-wise, <laughs> this is hilarious to me. Lunchables and a Coke. In this Lunchable packet, we have crackers, turkey, and cheddar cheese. And like, with no scientific backing to meat quality, like vari variations in deli meat, this just has to be magnitudes worse than something like a boar's head 
$10 a pound, $12 a pound shaved turkey that actually, like it tastes like it came off the bird even though it's deli meat. Whereas this is, <laughs> literally doesn't taste like food. It tastes like rubber and salt. Like a soft, tasty tire. I, I don't suggest that you, that you have this over this, um, but it, it just gives you an idea. If your goal is fat loss, hummus might not make a ton of sense. I don't know if it fills you up really well and it's like a nice snack and the rest of your day is high protein, cool, go with it. But back on the, on the subject of the turkey here, it's Oscar Mayer. It says it's lean white meat only and most of the fat in the Lunchable appears to come from the cheese and the crackers, like there isn't that much fat in here, so I guess it's still somewhat lean turkey. It isn't like a, a fattier cut or anything, or doesn't have added fat, but yeah, that's what we're working with here. Low energy, dropping the ball that they don't have an alternative. We, I have a kitchen though, and I have food, so when would we buy hummus? I feel like hummus is a good party, sitting out, cocktail hour, appetizer type of, oh, here we go. This worked out so well. Speaking of cocktail party, if you see this, if you see shrimp cocktail, a little bit of um, cocktail sauce, is that what this is called? Yeah, like just high carb, sweet sauce. This is straight protein. In four ounces of this, you're getting 24 grams of protein essentially no carbs, no fat, dip in a little bit of this, I don't know, I, I would imagine this would be like five grams of carbohydrates, much better option than this. I think that's it. I think that is all we have to cover today. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the comments too. A bunch of you guys who comment regularly on like most every episode. I think that's awesome. And I want you to know I really appreciate you and the fact that you even watch the show. Um, question of the day. What do you want to see reviewed on this show? Now I have a, I have a list. I've had people send me things. I have a, a log, a backlog going of foods that I'm going to review. But more ideas is always better. I can't promise that they'll get um, reviewed immediately or at all, but I'll do my best to push them up to, to the top of the list and uh, put out some good info and figure out if it's, if it's good or, or not so great. Remember, your body is still counting macros, even if you're not.